in the places that we wouldn't expect them to be around. As many of you know, the hip hop industry, hip hop is known not only for sinning, but for lo for glorifying sin. As you read the the story of Noah and Lot. Those sinful things weren't seen as a good thing. They were seen as a low thing. As a bad thing. As a negative thing. In today's world. In hip hop's industry. Sinful behaviors are glorified. It's cool to smoke. It's cool to have sex. It's cool to curse. There's even a song, if you're scared, go to church, go to church by some hip-hop artist. As if going to church is a negative thing. But even in this hip-hop world, God tries to teach us by different artists, by different rappers. One of Hip hop artist by the name of DMX. <laughs> His music are full of things that God would not like, that God told us not to do. But on his Year of the Dog Again album, on track 14, it's entitled The Prayer. Part 6. All the other songs talk about things that he shouldn't be talking about. All the other things he talks about. Things that go against God. But on the 14th track. He starts off with saying let us pray. This is God trying to communicate to you. This is God trying to talk to you. Pray. Pray. It's time for prayer. It's time for blessing. Let's listen to God. Let's not be like the sculpture that Abraham picked up. Abraham picked up the sculpture and he tried to talk to it. But the sculpture didn't listen. Let's not be like the sculpture. Let's listen. Let's make a correction in our life. Let's be for a blessing. Abraham, going back to the story of Abraham. He was angry at the sculpture. As we were discussing, once he got to the city, he tried to sell the sculpture. But angered, he left the sculpture there and he went on a quest to find his real God, his real creator. Who is my creator? Now, think about this. For 75 years, he thought that sculptures that his father made were his God, his creator. All of a sudden, he found out his old ways weren't good. His old ways weren't correct. So he wanted to make a correction in his life. This shows that he was not stupid. So Abraham searched around. He looked around. Trying to find his creator. So he looked to the floor. And he saw the earth. It was big. So he bent down and he said, Are you my creator? He didn't get any response. So he went to the tree and he said, Tree, are you my creator? He didn't get any response. He went to the wind and he said, The wind, are you my creator? He didn't get any response. And finally he said, Whoever created the sun and everything else in this world, the creator of all things, who are you? At that time, God appeared to him. He ordered, he ordered him to leave his city and go to Canaan. In Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 it says, The Lord has said to Abram, Leave your country, your people, and your father's household, and go to the land that I will show you. 
I'll make you into a great nation and I'll bless you. I'll make your name great. These are very, very, very hard words. Leave your country, your people, and your father's household if you want a blessing. He said, I'll make you, make you into a great nation. I'll bless you. I'll make your name great, and you will be a blessing, was the word of God. You will be a blessing. If you leave your old ways, if you make a correction in your life, you will be a blessing. Abraham did what he was told. He left his old ways and he started a new life. He followed God. He knew who his creator was. God gave him a new beginning, a new name. And after that point, his name was no longer Abraham, but Abraham. Abraham meaning father of many nations. After that point, Abraham was no longer disappointed, was his creator. See, Abraham went on this quest because he was empty. There's always something missing if we're not with God. True happiness, true blessings are only received from God. And in order for Abraham to receive this blessing, he had to make a correction in his life. But until that age, that time, age 75, God was waiting patiently. That's what God does. Waits patiently. And he gets happy when his kids come to him. When they return to him. When they seek him. When they ask for his blessing, God gets happy. But when people disobey him. When they don't listen to him. When they ignore him, when they don't correct their life, God gets disappointed. The story is very similar to the prodigal son. As many of you guys know the story. The father, this father had two sons. And the younger son wanted his father's profit, fortune, wealth. Now by the this the main idea of the younger son wanting the wealth, there's nothing wrong with it. But it wasn't timely. He wasn't supposed to ask his father. He's not supposed to ask his father. He's supposed to wait until his father died in order for him to get his wealth, his money. His income, his his wealth. It wasn't timing. The timing wasn't correct. He tried to rush into it. Just like today. Our father told us, sex before marriage is not timely. Your time is after you get married. Wait for it. Why do we have a hard time waiting? Why do we not listen to our father? Why do we not listen to our teacher? Why do we not listen to our creator? You will be a blessing. In order to get this blessing, we need to be disciplined. We need to listen. We need to follow his rules. We need to make him happy. We need to make a correction on our life. So in the prodigal son, the young kid wanted his father's fortune. So his father being a father, even though he was still alive,